Well, it's lovely to be back here. Um, I was a student, undergraduate on the music studies degree in 2004 to 2007. And just from a glance around um, the JCR, it's nice to see that on the surface, most feels the same anyway. You know, it's really lovely to, um, to come see that again and feel that. I think I speak as an artist, um, and I can see now that even back then, you know, I was always about performance and composition. At the heart of things, I've always been about writing music and then playing that music. And I loved it being here, you know, it was, it was the broadest horizon I could find in music and, you know, asking all those most basic questions, which are the most interesting about music, why music, where music. And then things really started for me professionally whilst I was here in this way that was really organic and I couldn't have planned and I didn't know anything about the music industry and it seemed as it does in a very distant when you're not, you know, when you're not close to it. More distant than it is. Um, because as soon as you start, you're all in the music industry already. That's the first thing. So just before I came to show, as I stumbled across the instrument that our friend mentioned there, which is an instrument you probably all know called a hang drum, but it was unusual enough to give real um, momentum to a band that I started here. So then we plastered floor to ceiling the, the JCR with our homemade uh, posters and um, put some gigs on there. I'm, I'm going to chat for about three hours, by the way. <laughs> but our main first move was to go out busking. It was basically like just literally didn't know anything else about the music industry, that green. And it was also very good because, uh, you know, by the nature of that instrument as well, it's very good for busking. Um, and we would, we would, actually it was a good little earner while we were, we would go on the South Bank. And, um, and everything we learned started there. Like the woman who became our booking agent used to do her jogging down the South Bank. And um, so our first proper gig was the one in Italy at a festival by someone who just walked past and saw us. So, you know, we were really that open as we began, just like, you know, I don't think I would have done that with a guitar in my hands, but because we had this instrument which just opens doors, we went out and did that. And all of my first understandings of the music industry happened in the, the two albums that I wrote, recorded and toured with them. The best advice that I ever heard or that sticks in my mind about um, <coughs> career in music is... Um, Kind of what I alluded to a minute ago, which is to say that to know yourself as the industry right from the beginning, you know, it's not a dirty thing. It's not. A, it's not. Um, there's nothing bad about that. It's just the playing field. It's just a fact of it. Even as a music listener, as a consumer, as a fan, you're all part of this big web that includes, of course, artists, managers, record labels, publishers, accountants, booking agents, everybody. You know, like media, all of it. Like. So you know less, no more than just just a part of that, and that often demystifies a lot of things, and and, um, and that's really connected to knowing your worth, because as you enter something that feels very um, distant or unfamiliar, it's very easy to then not know your worth, and sign the first thing that comes along, or be very flattered when anyone takes their interest, and you know when we had a gig at the jazz cafe, I was like I felt I could retire. Because <laughs> you know, De La Soul had played there like six months before or something, and I just thought that was incredible. Well, you know, it was the beginning of the beginning of the beginning, and um, so there's knowing your worth and, and, and knowing that that intimacy with the industry. Um, I think it's a, it's a, it's a good starting point.